Hello and welcome to our continuing coverage from the World Economic Forum. Uh, with us, Dr. Rajiv Lal of IDFC uh, to speak about what else? Infrastructure. So thanks so much for taking time to be with us. Uh, you're chairing a session, or you're part of a session later talking about implementation in the infrastructure sector. I think for the last 12 months, you know, we've all <coughs> been asking you what the problems are. Let me first try and ask you if you've seen any change, any positive change in the last six odd months, any signs of movement? It's difficult to point to any, uh, in, you know, hugely encouraging signs of movement. What I can uh, report, share with you is that uh, certainly the intensity of focus at different parts of government seems to have grown and um, one can expect um, in the next few weeks uh, certain initiatives um, to be made public on the power side. So whether that then translates into appropriate action, time will tell. But since the most acute uh, problem, uh, the most immediate problem is with the power sector, it is only appropriate that attention be focused there. So on the power side, and you know, a lot has been said about it, but we've gone through cycles on the power side in the past as well. Uh, is this, you know, a tariff-linked issue? Is this an issue about expansion without proper sort of, uh, you know, strategic planning, linkages, etc.? How have we got to this point this time around in the power sector? I think there are uh, two problems. One is, I, there are three problems. They're all sort of interrelated. Uh, the first problem is the availability of fuel um, for um, a large number of plants that will be getting to an operational stage over the next uh, you know, 12 to 18 months. Um, and fuel, both coal, domestic coal that is, and gas um, is, uh, is a challenge. <coughs> That's one. Second problem um, is a well-known problem, um, which has been there um, forever and that is the infirm um, financial situation of the state electricity boards um, where it seems that the cash flow problems of certain SCBs have become particularly acute and need, um, need attention. Third problem is the implication for uh, both of these um, for um, uh, equity investors whose returns are obviously um, going to be seriously affected, uh, but also for the asset quality of, uh, of the banking system um, that has been um, really carrying a disproportionate share of the burden of funding these projects. So there are three, three problems. Uh, so away from power, uh, you know, the other segments, roads, ports, uh, are they relatively better? Roads also at one time, uh, we understood there was a fair amount of stress in some of the smaller road players. Uh, no, there, there, there seems to be a reasonable amount of activity in the road sector. Um, uh, 4,000 kilometers of roads have been bid out in this fiscal year um, by the NHAI system. Um, I think there's a lot more method um, to the way they are going about their business. And there seems still to be a reasonable amount of risk appetite amongst investors to actually enter um, that particular sector. So that, um, that is ongoing. Um, telecoms, you, you know. Um, ports, um, there hasn't been any major breakthrough in terms of uh, addressing the issues of the uh, main ports. Uh, that come under the ministry. The private ports and the smaller ports that are the remit of state governments continue to be thri continue to thrive, but it's the main ports that continue to be a source of some frustration. Um, and railways, um, people haven't focused enough on the railways, but although uh, there is some progress on the freight corridor, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, it is relatively slow, but more importantly, when it comes to the operations of the railways themselves, I think um, a lot more work needs to be done to safeguard the long-term health of the Indian railway system. You have many friends in government, they come to you often for advice in the infrastructure sector. What are you telling them right now? Um, well, I, I, I don't think uh, w one should exaggerate. <laughs> um, a, the importance of advice. Uh, I think lots of people in government know exactly what needs to be done. Um, and uh, uh, it's the business of politics that is uh, very complex 
and I, I, I hesitate uh, to advise people in that business. <laughs> thank okay. you so much. All right, thank you. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.